another thing about Dance With My Father is the nostalgia. You put on the album, you're going to be like, I remember that sound. You can tell this was made in the early 2000s. I was a little kid in the early 2000s. So were my brother and sister and a bunch of my childhood friends. <laughs> we remember, we, you hear a song and you're like, I remember that sound. Well, you put on Dance With My Father and you're going to say, this has that early 2000s sound, especially when it comes to R&B. In fact, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of, well, current hip hop fans, like the ones that I see in high schools today, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they would actually like Dance With My Father because you know how they are with, the, with them putting on their basses up loud. The only time I ever turn up the volume when it comes to the bass is for Cliff Burton. But this album contains a lot of sounds and vibes that we also hear in modern R&B songs. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of kids like this album. My favorite songs on the album, I actually like them all. But my most favorite one, aside from Dance With My Father, the song, I like track one, If I Didn't Know Better. If I Don't Know Better kind of, like I said, pulls you in, you feel like you're floating when you listen to that song, you're like, wow, I'm gonna have this great experience. You know, it's a great introduction. I also like Apologize. And the final song, track 14, They Said You Didn't Need Me. I love this album. This is one of my all-time favorite albums now. Now I wanna buy this and have it in my car <laughs> for the rest of my life. And hopefully my own children wouldn't mind Luther Vandross. But anyways, hopefully my own children wouldn't mind getting to know who Luther Vandross is or was. Also, what a good producer to help the album. Well, that producer was Clive Davis. Clive Davis is one of the last music legends alive. He's like one of the last music producers alive. He's up there with, with legends like Quincy Jones and Randy Newman. Well, Randy Newman was a childhood favorite of mine. <laughs> But Clive Davis, whew, boy. Clive Davis is just one of those producers that has an eye for talent. He was one of the producers that discovered Whitney Houston. In fact, I think he was the dis he was the guy who discovered Whitney Houston. And he would go on to be the founding father of J Records, which if you look closely on the disc, there it is, J Records. That's Clive Davis's company. Uh, sadly, J Records isn't around anymore. Not everything lasts forever, and that's the way of life. But Clive Davis, I uh, just wanna, once this pandemic is over and we're allowed to kind of go to gatherings, I just wanna go over to Clive Davis right now and just say thank you for working with all the greatest artists who ever lived, including Whitney Houston and Luther Vandross. Don't really know that, don't really know that much about him other than the fact that he's a A-list music maker, but based on what I saw in his interviews, including his one on Reels Channel's Autopsy The Last Hours of Luther Vandross, Clive Davis seemed very heartfelt and down to earth. So, you know, it's hard to say. We'll never know unless we actually meet him in person, like they say. And back to Dance With My Father. Now I wanna own this album. It is an album that I wanna play at parties. You can play this at weddings. You can play this, actually, probably not weddings. Well, you could play this anywhere, in the car, in your house, play it anytime you want. Lots of albums I say you should play over and over again. This one you definitely should be playing over and over again. It's a masterpiece. No wonder it reached number one on the charts when it debuted. And that's all I have to say about Dance With My Father. I'm giving it 10 out of 10 stars. Plus, when you look at Google users who actually know the album, they love it. So, what's next? Let's see, what is next? Uh, ooh. Gus Genie one? 